Hello guys, uh, my name is Sid Moser. I'm a business management uh, major here and I'm going to be talking about my previous professional uh, work experience. I haven't really worked at a desk job or anything, but I have done a lot of odd jobs for other people. Uh, I first started off when I was working at 12 uh, at a, a U-Pick farm uh, about five miles down the road with one of my buddies. And we would wake up at about five o'clock, get on our bikes, ride out to work, and uh, we started from the bottom and worked our way up. And that job really, you know, taught me how to, uh, you know, work hard uh, right away because on a lot of the, the jobs that we got, it wasn't by the hours, by how much you picked. And I started off uh, working, uh, picking beans and peas, and I was making about $12 an hour just doing that because, you know, the faster you pick, the more you would get. Uh, and so that was fantastic, you know, kind of teaching me not to just like mope around and try to get as many hours in, but not doing so much work. So that was one key aspect uh, right when I was started working that I found very important later on. Um, next off, I just did that through middle school. In high school, I uh, started doing more odd jobs for people, and that got me into uh, a job that I really enjoyed and kind of wish I would maybe stuck through. Uh, and that was working at an organic farm with uh, one of my dad, dad's old co-workers. And uh, that really taught me how to work on my own. Uh, on my previous jobs, it's more of a team exercise or team building thing where you would go with other people and you would uh, get a job done. And with this, it was more so like, you know, this fence row needs to be uh, replaced or put up. And he would give me a list of the supplies, the amount of money that I, I was, you know, got and go out to town, buy the stuff, uh, replace the fence row, and taught me more of the, you know, aspect of getting things done by yourself, and it was very interesting because I could choose my own hours, and, uh, you know, it makes it easy to, you know, oh, I'll just take today off kind of thing, but obviously to make money, you can't take days off. Uh, next up, ne next up, I, uh, in the summers, I would do that but also volunteer at a thrift shop. And there that, you know, kind of, my mom forced me to do it at first, but later on, uh, when I go home for breaks, I work there as well in the electrical department. And uh, so just fixing things up, making sure that people, you know, they give you trash to uh, pretty much thrift shops and to sort through that stuff. So that kind of helped me give back to the community a little bit. Um, but this summer I had probably the most influential job, uh, especially with my major, and I was a waterfront director at a summer camp, which had two beaches, and that really taught me how to, you know, put the things that we've learned in class to the actual test. Uh, in my ethics class, we've talked a lot about, you know, and in this class about putting, you know, positive, and then a negative, and then another positive to give some uh, positive reinforcement to get a job done. And I had to do that quite a bit, which was uh, a little harder than I thought. I uh, definitely had a, some people on staff, uh, you know, it was their first job, so they really did not understand what hard work was, and it was kind of hard to get through. But by the end of the summer, I uh, had a group uh, that really worked together and stuff, and that was very, uh, very rewarding. At that job, I also learned uh, the importance of paperwork and how important that is. Uh, I obviously had to have everything to, up to code and regulation uh, with the paperwork that the camp had, and if I didn't and an inspector came from the state, uh, the camp could be shut down or they could be fa fined uh, severely. So obviously I didn't want that because that would be very bad for myself also because I'd like to work there possibly next year. Um, another thing was, you know, everything that um, the staff members did reflected on me. So if my lifeguards were messing around and my boss comes down to just like talk to me and he sees that one of the lifeguards on duty isn't performing up to standards, that's going to reflect on me. And also, more so if somebody drowns, that is on me also, not just the lifeguards that are on duty. Uh, and that was one very interesting part of the job, just, you know, the, the big responsibility that I had. The other thing was uh, the transition with working with kids for about a month to having families and uh, adults come to the beach. And the in interesting, you know, reaction to kids like, oh, if you tell them to do something, usually they do it. Adults are just like, oh, no, I know, I know the better way to do it. And uh, it was pretty hard to, you know, 
tell them like, hey, no, this is my beach. You can't do this. Uh, you know, you need to follow my rules. But also, you know, some of the tedious things, just let them go. And uh, that was pretty, uh, pretty hard and sometimes uh, tedious to do. But well, those are the my work experiences, and I'm happy that I went to Walsh to learn some of the things, especially when it came to the beach job that I had. Thank you, guys.